Hello there everybody and thanks for tuning in to another video here on Armor of God. In this video, I would like to cover a little about what Satan had told the exorcist Father Chad Ripperger during an exorcism. Before I go any further, I'd just like to say that those who won't believe will not believe. Those who think that just because we are in the 21st century and exorcisms or the subject of spiritual warfare is irrelevant, then it is up to you. I am here to simply pass along the message to you. Now that is said, let's continue with the video then. Father Chad Ripperger once said during an interview that Satan had told him during an exorcism session that God is about to take his power away. Father Ripperger said he commanded the spirit during the exorcism to explain the motives behind his behavior and the devil which Father Ripperger identified as Beelzebub began to weep, admitting that God is set to pull the plug on his influence on church affairs. But Father Ripperger also said he could not give intimate details about the reasons surrounding the possession because he did not have his bishop's permission to speak on the inner workings of the case. However, he did say the context for the demonic attack were certain issues within the church. Father Ripperger believes that the diabolical admission of God restricting the level of influence that the fallen angels have over church affairs will have applications on a broader geopolitical situation by application. In this case, Beelzebub is the possessor, and he, it's another name for Beelzebub is just another name for Satan. So, in this case, during one of the sessions, uh, well, let, let me back up just a bit. This case is actually revolving around certain issues that are going on in the church. I'm not at liberty to talk about them, at least at this point. Um, that would be something I'd have to have my bishop's permission to speak on. But it's one of those things where it, it revolves around certain issues with inside the church. And so he, at one point during one of the sessions when the, um, when the beatings got particularly bad, he just starts crying out of the blue. And so I stopped and I commanded him to tell me, you know, what's, what's your problem? And he just said, he's about to take my power away from me. We don't know when that's going to occur. But I also think it's also the demons know that their time is limited. So they're trying to clamp down on anything possibly that they can, even within the church. And also we're going to start seeing the governments getting more and more tyrannical. For example, what's going on in Australia is just completely off the charts. This is an indication that they're overplaying their hand, but the reason they're overplaying their hand is because um, and they're bluffing so much and they're doing all these things and they're lying to it is all because of the fact that their time is very short. Father Ripperger went on to say that he did not suggest that society and the church would experience immediate peace or order even with the dissipation of any spiritual tyranny. He said that evil doesn't go away quietly. It stops like a baby, like a violent child. And when asked how laymen could prepare themselves to really hunker down and engage in this battle, Father Ripperger replied that Catholics ought to keep themselves under Our Lady's mantle, having a strong devotion to her, asking her protection.